Hello students. Let's continue our journey through understanding quadrilaterals. Today we are going to discuss the angle sum property of polygons. Our world is full of shapes. Let's see how can we relate them to mathematics. Can you identify the polygons from these objects? We know that the polygon must have a minimum of three sides. A three-sided polygon is called a triangle. Here ABC is a triangle having three sides, AB, BC, CA, and angles, angle A, angle B, angle C. Now let's learn an interesting concept of triangles that is angle sum property. Here let's find the sum of interior angles of a triangle from this illustration. Yes, the sum of the measures of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now let's see. What do the diagonals do to the polygon? In a quadrilateral, the maximum possible diagonal from a vertex is 1. Here in PQRS, the number of diagonals from the vertex P is 1. Therefore, the diagonal PR divides the quadrilateral PQRS into two triangles. Triangle PQR and triangle PSR. Now let's see the case of a pentagon. In a pentagon, the maximum possible diagonals from a vertex are two. Here, in ABCDE, the number of diagonals from vertex A are two. Therefore, diagonal divide the pentagon into three triangles, namely triangle ABC, triangle ACD, and triangle ADE. Consider the case of a hexagon. In a hexagon, the maximum possible diagonals from a vertex are three. Here in hexagon ABCDEF, the number of diagonals from vertex A are three. Therefore, diagonals divide the hexagon into four triangles, namely triangle ABC, triangle ADC, triangle ADE, and triangle AEF. Likewise, if we consider an n-sided polygon called the n-gun, the number of triangles that can be formed is n-2. We learned earlier. The sum of the measures of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now let's try to find the sum of the interior angles of other polygons. Consider the quadrilateral, which gets divided into two triangles by a diagonal. Therefore, the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral will be equal to the sum of the angles of these two triangles. So the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral will be twice of 180 degree, that is 360 degrees. In the pentagon, there are five sides and it can be divided into three triangles. So the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon will be thrice of 180 degrees, that is 540 degrees. In hexagon, the number of sides is 6, and triangles formed are 4. So the sum of the interior angles of the hexagon would be 4 times 180 degrees. That is 720 degrees. So if the side is n, and the number of triangles that can be formed is n minus 2, what do you think about the angle sum of an n gun? That's right. It would be n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. So let's do a quick recap on today's session. 
We learned the sum of measures of the interior angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. The number of triangles that can be formed by the diagonals from a vertex is n minus 2. The sum of measures of interior angles of an n gun is, is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree. So before winding up today's session, let's do an activity together. Take a paper and cut it into a quadrilateral. Name the ankles as A, B, C, D. Place the paper with C degree to the right side down corner. Now rotate it such that the angle D degree comes next to C degree. Now trace it. Rotate the paper again and place the A degree vertex next to the D degree. Now trace it. Now rotate the paper again and place the B degree vertex to complete the missing part such that the C degree of the first figure and the A degree of the third figure comes side by side with B degree. So what did we find from this activity? We found that the ankles A, B, C, D come together forming a circle. Therefore, the sum of measures of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.